If you've ever wondered how the wealthy lived in the early 8th or 9th century, now is your chance to take a glimpse into the past. Archaeologists unearthed a lavish 1,200-year-old estate in Israel's desert south that offers a unique glimpse of life for wealthy residents of the Negev region, the country's antiquities authority said Tuesday, August 22. The team made the discovery during works to build a new neighborhood in the city of Rahat in the Negev Desert, located in southern Israel. The region was formerly ruled by the Altayaha tribe, Al-Hazil clan, a Negev Bedouin people that settled in the Sinai Peninsula during the early years of the Muslim conquests. Archaeologists found a large estate with a central courtyard that sits on a vaulted complex and a three-meter-deep rock-hewn water cistern which dates to the early Islamic period from the 8th to 9th century AD. The estate has four wings, in which one of the wings has a hall paved with a marble and stone floor and walls decorated with frescoes using finely colored red, yellow, blue, and black pigments. Some of the other rooms had plaster floors and large ovens for cooking, while fragments of delicate glass serving dishes have also been uncovered there also appeared to be bunkers to protect residents from the heat or move them underground for safety. The estate is close to a mosque dating back to the same period uncovered by Israeli archaeologists back in June. The luxurious estate and the impressive underground vaults are evidence of the owner's means. Their high status and wealth allowed them to build a luxurious mansion that served as a residence and for entertaining, said the excavation directors, Orange Mwili, Dr. Elena Kogan Zahavi, and Dr. No D. Michael. Eli Escasado, director of the Israel Antiquities Authority said, the Israel Antiquities Authority and the Authority for the Development and Settlement of the Bedouin are planning together to conserve and exhibit the finds to the general public. If you're looking for a chance to see the ancient ruins with your own eyes, you're in luck. The two organizations have confirmed that they have made plans to conserve the site and transform it into a public exhibition. Starting on Thursday, history buffs can book guided tours at the site and visit the estate. Image Credit, Israel Antiquities Authority